Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing this. This is a notebook from part of the Pont Neuf line from Kunisawa. Kunisawa is a Japanese stationery company, make amazing quality notebooks, um, really premium, beautiful you know, products. And this is part of their Pont Neuf uh, selection, which uh, is um, a little bit more design orientated, shall we say. Uh, and with a few sort of more fancy features, more, you know, whereas a lot of their other products are definitely function first. This is design and function hand in hand. Okay, so, so this is uh, this is actually part of the William Morris selection, um, and William Morris was the uh, father, some say, of the uh, arts and crafts movement, uh, and uh, Kunisawa have created three notebooks that uh, celebrate uh, his design aesthetic, um, and this is the, around the uh, the the. Uh, late 19th century um and uh you know he created a you know design aesthetic uh that really sort of moved design forward into the 20 20th century um so this is an a5 size notebook here i have a leuchtturm 1917 notebook which so this is it's actually a smaller than a5 but like a5 general sort of size but it, it is you know a little thinner a little shorter uh than the uh the leuchtturm here, um, but in that same sort of family. It's actually, the slightly smaller size I actually find actually quite comfortable. Um, I've been using this for a little while, so I've clamped off some pages that I was using, so excuse that. Um, but I wanna run over the features of this book. So it is 192 pages, as I said, made in Japan. It's got a five millimeter dot rule, but a very um, inobtrusive dot very light nice sort of simple dot grid there um it's got gilded beautifully gold gilded edges uh and you know a ribbon bookmark which is a you know a good length very thin but a, you know it's quite it's quite long some people don't like them that long you can easily trim that if that is the case but this length uh i find really allows you to get around the corner of the book to sort of open it up as well but i think the uh uh the highlight of this book um, apart from the beautiful paper, which I'll get into in a second, is this William Morris design. Now, it's got gold foil built into the design, uh, and it wraps around the book uh, and, you know, into the end pages there. Uh, and I think it's a really lovely design. If you are interested in this design style, I think this is going to be a really lovely notebook for you. What it also is is a really beautiful, like, gift book uh, coming presented in that you know very nice um, you know cardboard box as well um, it does you know it does definitely create a lovely gift item so Kunisawa is a premium stationery brand they make good products uh, where design as I said is taken very much into account um, so this is slightly smaller than A5, where it's 138 by 195, as opposed to the standard sort of 140-ish by a 210 millimeter mark. So it's smaller, uh, but it is very, very high quality, and the paper is wonderful. A couple of years ago, I reviewed some Kunisawa notebooks and found the paper to be a little bit inconsistent across the range. Kunisawa have taken my review and other reviews, of course, into account with this uh, and have uh, really brought their paper up to a new level. It's a huge step forward, which we'll see in just um, a second. I say these items are premium and the price matches that. The price I found this uh, for was 3,300 yen, which is around um, the mm, 40 to 43 Australian dollar mark, which for a notebook of this size is on the higher end uh, but you are this is a themed design in conjunction with the trust uh, the William Morris Trust and so it is actually you know um, it's official in that respect which uh, is really nice let's look at the quality of the paper so I've done some writing tests in this notebook uh, to show you just a little bit so 
Pilot Hiroshizuku, uh, Pilot Hiroshizuku Shinkai from a Pelican M805, Akaman Simplicity's Violet and uh, Visconti Homo Sapiens, uh, Birmingham Winter Snowflake in a Pilot Custom 74, then a Palomino Blackwing, a Uniball Jetstream, a Yuka's Felt Tip Pen, and a Muji Gel Pen. Now, automatically, you can see the colors look great, and you can see that the you know there's nice shading, a little bit of sheen, uh, particularly like if you look around the the uh, Akaman ink there or the Pilot Hiroshizuku. Um, but also there's no feathering and uh, everything performs rather nicely. And of course, if we look at the reverse, there's a little bit of ghosting. Not as bad as Tomo River, uh, but you can see the writing through the page, uh, but it definitely doesn't bleed through and uh, you could easily use both sides of this page. Uh, so it is very, very fountain pen friendly, which is uh, what they've been striving to achieve. So let's talk a few pros and cons for this um, William Morris. This is the seaweed version of the book. Um, this is one of the translations I found uh, of the, the name. Um, okay, pros and cons. Now, there are a couple on both sides. Firstly, the price it is a premium product, so you are paying a little bit more. Yes, there are other notebooks that use this paper from Kunisawa, uh, but you are buying something with the William Morris design on it. It does have limited availability at this stage. This notebook and the new range of notebooks was only released this year, late this year, and with things like COVID and all those sorts of things um, that you do have, well, this is uh, being filmed in, you know, sort of uh, the towards the end of 2020. Um, things like COVID did impact, you know, pen shows and stationary shows and all that sort of thing. But the international release is, Due to, is expected in sort of the first half of the of 2021. Now, yes, the design will not be for everybody, but for those who love the art and crafts movement on William Morris, this is going to be the perfect, perfect gift or gift to yourself. Not a con, but something that I am aware of is the fact that this is a cover on the notebook and my concern is how is this cover going to last? So far it's been great, it's been carried around, it's been used, um, but will it, you know, will the quality sort of hold up? Only time can sort of tell that, um, but it's, you know, I think it's a very well-made notebook and I hope that this cover does hold up. Pros for this, firstly, beautiful paper, like just absolutely stunning. It's off-white, I'll just show it alongside some rhodia here just to give you a sense of the off-white nature of it. So rhodia is quite white, you can see it's an off-white cream sort of coloured paper, um, but it does have an inobtrusive dot uh, and it does feel nice, it gives a lovely, lovely writing experience. Um, it's fountain pen friendly, you know, it's great. It's got quality, you know, design with the William Morris Art, Art and Craft theme uh, and with that you know gold foil in it and the gold edges and all of those sorts of things um, so as I said it does make a lovely gift idea particularly if you know someone is a fan of this style uh, of product so this was the Kunisawa uh, William one of the William Morris themed notebooks uh, from Pont Neuf uh, and I hope you found this video interesting and useful thank you so much for watching um, if you've got products you think I should be looking at let me know um, or if there's a way like to support the channel like Kunisawa did here by providing this for review um, I'd love to hear from you um, you can get in touch with me on any of my platforms which are listed below Instagram Twitter you, know, you can com comment on my videos here or drop me an email all of that sort of stuff so thank you for watching enjoy your notebooks enjoy your writing and I will talk to you soon